Hello, it's Marco Matosh, Chief from Markham 3D, and today I'm going to show you how to rig a character using the Rigify add-on that is inbuilt in Blender. But firstly, make sure you hit the like button to make those YouTube algorithms help me out. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. So let's start off by going Edit, Preferences. I'm just going to type in Rig. And down here, we've got Rigging Rigify. Let's turn that on. Close this. I've got the 3D cursor down the center here. So I'm going to go Shift A. Let's go Add an Armature and I'm going to human meta rig. From here, I'm just going to scale this down so the face kind of lines up front way. I'm going to press numpad three to go into side view. I'm just going to kind of line up that knee just with the mesh. And what I'm going to do is straight away, now that I've moved it, I'm going to press control A to apply the location just to recenter that. So let's now come into edit mode and just start moving some bones. I'm going to press N to bring up the side panel tools and turn on X axis mirror just so if i move something on this side it's going to move on that side the next thing i'll do is come on to the to the skeleton tab viewport display and in front so it brings everything to the front and so i can see it from all angles so let's go back into front mode i think the kneecaps a little bit higher i'm not too worried about the face i think this rig can be a little bit bigger i'm just going to make the 3d cursor the center point i'm just going to kind of align that shoulder a little bit better let's come back down into medium point and what I'm just going to quickly do is just quickly line everything up. And so we've quickly just relined up all the bones. Um, actually, I think that might be a little bit too far out. Probably about here-ish. Um, the fingers, oh gosh, let me just re-fix this up. I didn't realize I'd stuff that up. So I'm kind of lining up these joints. So where the pivot points are, are just kind of like on the knuckles there. And all in all, we've got this well. So let's go tab back into object mode. I'm gonna do control A and apply the scale. Well, actually, let's just apply all transformations just in case. Let's come over here into the skeleton side again and generate rig. From here, all this stuff is now set up. However, I'm going to come in and delete the bones now because we no longer require that. I'm just going to select everything and then shift right click on the rig again. Control P to bring up the set parents and I'm going to armature deform with automatic weights. And if we have a look, that looks quite nice. I'm just going to go into pose mode and I can press G and let's have a look. It didn't, lie, it didn't pick up the shoes for some reason. Not sure if I had them selected, but if we have a look, I can move this guy around. Um, if we want more options, so for instance, at the moment, this is on the IK, I believe. Yep. However, if I want to be using the joints individually, I press N, select the hand bone, and we click item, and here's all our rig main properties. From here, if I want to change to FK, Let's do the slider over here. We can hide the IKs. There we go. And now we can kind of rotate like so. Uh, let's go on the opposites on the right hand and we can see that we move around and do this. So this is a very quick way of rigging a character using the Rigify add-on. Please, like I said before, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps you up to date with my content. And let me know if there are any other add-ons you would like me to review.